Yeah, so just getting this in. I like this when they take their time to package something, you know, right. I didn't even know what I was going to record about today, but, you know, they sent this black owned company. Mind frame is everything. Mind frame is everything clothing. So that's that M F I E T. Mind frame is everything. The common sense, the common sense hoodie. Like that, the quality of the material, like that. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today, along with the Chris Collins. I mean, wearing the Chris Collins fragrance, Renaissance Man. And that's what the discussion is going to be today. Also, I'm going to be talking about Chris Collins. I like this pouch that he sent me. You know, I asked him to send me some fragrances for reviews, so he sent me some samples. So I like this. Got the uh, pouch with the fragrances in it. This is, I don't know what kind of cotton it is, but this is a nice, thick, dense cotton, and it feels great. Black owned company, uh, Barris de Gaulle. Uh, this is nice. I like this. So I'm going to be getting some more stuff in from this company, most definitely. So uh, y'all go over there, y'all check him out. Over there is uh, Mind Frame is Everything. Mind Frame is Everything. M-F-I-E-T Clothing. So yeah, y'all go check that out. And uh, man, make some purchases. And also, sticking with the black fragrance, black business uh, thing I've been going with, I decided today I'm gonna be wearing uh, Chris Collins. So I don't have the full bottle. I hollered at the company and they sent me some samples. So one of the ones that I'm liking is Renaissance because I consider myself a Renaissance man. This is, mm, this is a Jet Setter's fragrance right here. So being like I consider myself a Jet Setter, this is what you want to invest your money in. It's about 175 for the full bottle, uh, 100 mil full bottle. This is, Mm. You smell those uh, marine aqua notes in it. Some ginger. Mm. Oh, I smell that tonka bean and that vanilla kicking in, that leather. Woo. Yes. Oh my God, this is a sexy alpha male scent, if I do say so myself. So, I'm going to be putting that on. This is what I'm going to be wearing for the day. When I get a full bottle. When I get a full ball, I was going to do a full presentation, but, you know, I've been wearing this one. As you see, it's on a little bit left in it. I like that. I also like that Sweet Taboo, which is my favorite from the line, but this Renaissance is a close second, and this is, oh, my God, that is amazing. That right there, that is energetic, man. That speaks, that speaks volumes. Mm. So, I've worn it, I've worn it a few times, uh, last about, you can get eight to ten hours. Ten definitely if you spray on clothes. Eight on skin. Uh, probably about three four hours before it comes to skin scent. Uh, leaves a good three four foot scent trail. Scent bubble around you. Sillage, whatever you want to call it. So, man, run out. Get your hands on that. That is, he calls it the alchemy of scent, or the alchemy of fragrance. So, alchemy is blending. So. He's done some perfect blending with that. I'm digging that. Chris Collins was a formal model. So, um, any of y'all know me, I did a little bit of modeling in my time also. So, hey, you grow, running in those circles, you grow to appreciate fragrance. So, I have grown an immense appreciation for fragrance. So, that being said, y'all go out there and get that. That is a nice scent there. Hmm, very good scent. I love this. And like I say, I'm not going to really waste time telling y'all about fragrances I don't like. If I don't like it, it's not going to make the channel unless it's something I'm trying to warn you about. So, hmm. Oh, there's some bergamot in there, too. Okay. Okay, I'll I, I see you, Chris. I'll see you. So, yeah. Some tonka, some bergamot. Oh, the vanilla, you know, I love that vanilla and that tonka. You know, all my favorite scents have 
Tonka and or vanilla mixed together. So, mm, some cinnamon in there too. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna see how this works out today. So yeah, this is this is nice. It's, mm, it's wafting too, boy. You can just oh, you can take that in. So yeah, it's just quick video that y'all see the the common sense because we're gonna talk about that later on. Common sense, since everybody want to know why I don't give out too much advice anymore. So I'm gonna go back to doing that. So we're gonna be talking about uh, these relationships. So. Y'all tune back in later. I'm about to post this after I do the, the editing portion. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm spending a little more time with this uh, Chris Collins. Oh, my goodness. So this is a very masculine scent. The Renaissance man is very masculine well thought out uh i think he took his time um i think it was all mapped out it's definitely not rushed uh every alchemy he, he calls his uh this lineup his whole lineup the alchemy of fragrance if you know anything about alchemy alchemy is the precursor to chemistry and it was basically they were trying to turn one something into something else basically uh trying to turn uh metals into gold so it's basically you know, trying to turn other metals into gold or trying to find an elixir so we, we done found the elixir here i'm telling you this chris collins is it's amazing it's a very masculine scent there's no surprises whatsoever what the notes that say they're broken down to be that is what you smell so it's common sense. It's common sense when you buy it. It's what you what you ask for is what you're gonna get. You you getting your money's worth with these fragrances. Uh, now I wouldn't say they're niche, and they're not. You know they're not. Um, they're not challenging fragrances like some niche fragrances that are challenging and. Uh, hard to wear. This this is simple. That tobacco, that ginger, the honey. Uh, it kind of reminds me. Uh, I got an uncle named Snooky. That all while I was growing up, he smoked pipes, and I used to love it. I'm allergic to cigarette smoke, but I used to love being around my uncle Snooky and smell those pipes. And that's what this puts me in the mind of when Uncle Snooky used to smoke that pipe because it's some honey and some vanilla in there, but it's a uh, it's a raw honey, uh, not not refined or um what's the word i'm looking for refined uh it's, it's not it's not a refined honey so it's it is i i think i get a trace of vanilla so it, it reminds me of that pipe smoke from i used to smell as a child growing up going over to uh my great uncle snooky's house and uh man you can wear this. Uh, I wouldn't wear it in the hot weather unless, like I said, you're in an indoor environment, like an office space or whatever. But definitely a masculine scent. Um, I guess if you're a female, you want to try to put it off. If you're a boss chick I, or an alpha chick, you know, yeah, you probably could pull that off. But I would say leave that one for the men. Then every man ain't going to be able to pull that off. Just is what it is. You know, it takes a, a real masculine confident boss stoic type figure to pull that off but oh my god it smells amazing you it i think i got eight to ten hours out of it um and it you know it's it's no it's a no frills type scent also man support support all of the uh black owned fragrance companies um uh, ovation i gotta get that one because it says every man deserves an ovation so that race has nothing to do with it. if you're a man you deserve an ovation yeah, and chris classic he you know chris classic he uh he also uh dropped something elegant man dude dude there's also you know true renaissance man and um you know he dropped something just elegant for us and uh 
you know, so I'm gonna be doing something about doing something soon with uh one of his fragrances, um that Soul Cafe. I've got the, the three pack, but I'm definitely gonna buy a um definitely gonna buy a full bottle at Soul Cafe. And uh, I would love to get that limited edition one with the Africa Lions head on it that he did. There's a special edition thing he did for a show in Atlanta. So somebody got a ball of that and want to let it go. Hit me up.